Grey Wolf, Mexican Grey Wolf, Timber Wolf, Arctic Wolf and Dingo. They are all to be found across the game Zoo Tycoon, Zoo Tycoon 2 and Planet Zoo. And they are all the same species. Canis Lupus. Or maybe they in fact are not. More about that later. Being a large iconic carnivore, the Grey Wolf cannot be left out in zoo games. But does it really need to be represented by this many types? That is what we'll discuss today. To understand why zoo games don't always just go with the Grey Wolf and call it a day, we first need to understand a bit about the taxonomy of this wolf, and that can be somewhat confusing. Canis lupus is the scientific name of the grey wolf, meaning when we're looking at just this, then we're not looking at a specific subspecies of the wolf, but if you then see a third name added to it, then we're talking about a subspecies. The exact number of subspecies for the grey wolf can vary quite a lot depending on the source you use. Some mentions close to 40 subspecies, while some newer literature says 14. Since this video is not supposed to be a deep dive into wolf taxonomy, I'll not go too much into detail to why this number varies so significantly, but this might help explain why the people behind the games are having a hard time figuring out how to present these animals. If they want to avoid dealing with all these subspecies, the easiest thing to do is of course not to go with a specific subspecies of grey wolf to begin with, and simply just call it grey wolf. After all, most animals in zoo games tend to be represented only on a species level, though there are exceptions like tigers and brown bears, here subspecies tend to be the go-to. If we look at our three zoo games, the unspecific subspecies approach for the wolf is also present here. Zoo Tycoon got an animal named Grey Wolf, but far from every animal in the original Zoo Tycoon got a scientific name stated. So we can't say for sure if this is not supposed to be a specific Grey Wolf, but nothing in the animal facts menu seems to indicate it is a specific subspecies, besides from their range map only showing North America. But the maps in this game tend to not cover multiple continents, even when it should. If we look at the mountain lion, it describes a range from Canada to South America, but only shows North America on the map. So I guess we can fairly conclude the animal called Grey Wolf in Zoo Tycoon is just Canis lupus, no specific subspecies. In the base game of Planet Zoo, we got the Timber Wolf. The name Timber Wolf is most commonly used in North America where it can just be seen as an alternative name for the grey wolf. When we look at the Zoopedia, it just referred to it as Canis lupus and the range map covers America, Europe and Asia. So this seems to be another unspecific grey wolf. Although it could look like it wasn't intended to be so from the start. Besides from its American clinging common name, Timber Wolf, it also has a bunch of scenery items in the base game's new world building set. A set that otherwise only features North American animals. Was the Timber Wolf maybe first planned to be a North American subspecies of a kind, then changed to be more generic, possibly to make sure the base game had some European animals? What do you think? In Zoo Tycoon 2, we again find an animal named Grey Wolf. So you could easily think this is also without a specific subspecies. But if we look up the scientific name of the wolf, then it is stated as being Canis lupus lucaeon. This is a subspecies known as the Eastern Grey Wolf. What is interesting about this subspecies is that it might not even be a true subspecies of the Grey Wolf. Now it is often viewed as its own species. Canis lucaeon. Closer related to the Red Wolf, than the Grey Wolf. If this is true, then Zoo Tycoon 2 don't even have a true Grey Wolf in the game. The other wolf in this game is the Ethiopian Wolf, which is a species on its own. Now let's get back to the two other games again. They both have a generic Grey Wolf to represent the animal, but they didn't stop here. A few of the subspecies of Grey Wolf stands out so much that most people wouldn't really feel like a generic Grey Wolf model represents them. One of the best examples is the Arctic Wolf. With its white fur, it stands out a lot among most of the other subspecies, considering they are like 50 shades of grey, or more like 14 to 40 shades of grey depending on the source. And I guess that is also the reason this subspecies made it into two of these games besides already having a more generic grey wolf. It is to be found in both Zoo Tycoon and Planet Zoo. And apparently that wasn't wolf enough. Both of these games ended up with a third Canis lupus. Zoo Tycoon got the Mexican grey wolf, an endangered subspecies which is also among the smallest of the grey wolves. And Planet Zoo got the dingo, although if this animal really should be considered a subspecies of the grey wolf is another debate within zoology. But if you trust Planet Zoo's Zoopedia, which you shouldn't always do, then it is seen as a subspecies. So even though these two games had generic grey wolves to represent the species, they still decided to branch out 
out this animal even more. And to many, having both the animal on a species level and on subspecies levels in the same game feels quite inconsistent. If grey wolves should be represented by one generic version and or one or multiple subspecies, is of course a matter of opinion. Personally, I prefer specific subspecies for the species, where at least some of the subspecies are quite easy to tell apart by the look of them. This is the case with animals like brown bears and tigers, and so it is for grey wolves, especially in modern games like Planet Zoo where models can be made very accurate looking, although the timber wolf is far from one of Frontier's best models. So how would I handle grey wolves in a zoo game without going for the generic kind? If I were to change Planet Zoo's wolf situation, I would start by turning the timber wolf into the Eurasian grey wolf, Canis lupus lupus. This way Europe gets a big iconic carnivore, something we need. This subspecies also goes into Asia, meaning it can be used to represent more than just Europe. And while this would be wolf enough for me, I can kind of understand the need to have a North American representation as well. One option could of course be the Arctic wolf but I think one canine is enough for arctic areas, so I would always favor the arctic fox over the wolf. Many people did also seem to have preferred that scenario when we got the arctic pack, especially since that later on would have freed the spot taken by the arctic fox in the North American animal pack. So in my alternative universe, I would not go with the arctic wolf as the second wolf. A lot of people would probably then suggest Canis lupus occidentalis, a subspecies that goes under many common names like Canadian timber wolf, Mackenzie Wally wolf or Northwestern wolf to name some. It is probably among the more well known of the American subspecies and are also among the largest. Its many color variations which the Planet Zoo wolf does seem to feature some of would add to the popularity of this choice. So why would I not go with this for a second wolf? The Eurasian wolf is the wolf you would expect the realistic players to use in their zoos placed in Europe. Therefore we would want the second subspecies species for the wolf to be the go-to for American zoos. And while the Occidentalis is a North American subspecies, you actually seem to be far more likely to see it in zoos in Europe. So instead I'll suggest we take inspiration from the original zoo tycoon for our second wolf. The Mexican grey wolf seems to be the subspecies many larger zoos in North America want to focus on. Part of the reason for this is their status as endangered. And while it doesn't have white fur like the Arctic wolf, it does still separate itself from the Eurasian wolf in other ways. It is among the smallest subspecies, meaning there would be a noticeable difference in the size between them. Even though we of course can't trust Frontier with sizes. Its fur looks shakier and its colorations and markings also stands out. The Mexican grey wolf is found in some more arid habitats, meaning you would also end up building for it in different ways than what you would do with the Eurasian grey wolf. I think the combination of these two subspecies would cover the needs for wolves well, both when it comes to rains and biomes, and also without them appearing too similar, and at the same time being useful for different continents for realistic players. Most players, me included, would of course prefer trading one of these two for a unique species instead, but I would as an example find more value in this combo in the base game over the pair of tigers we got. Which of these base game lineups would you go with? Let me know below. I would probably also swap out the dingo for something else entirely, even though I can see why this animal matters if you want to make a typical Australian zoo. You could of course let the dingo take the place of one of the two suggested grey wolves instead, but I just find the wolves more important for these areas than what the dingo is for Australia. But I might also be a bit biased by the fact the Mexican grey wolf would be perfect for my ongoing desert zoo. In the end I would rather end up with some areas missing their wolf than I'll have wolves ending up taking taking the spot for more needed or unique animals. With both the Arctic pack and the Australia pack it felt like something else should have been in that place. Although with Australian getting better over time I can kind of forgive the dingo. But no matter the choices, getting 3 subspecies for wolves or probably getting 3 subspecies for any animal species is overdoing it, unless a potential Planet Zoo 2 managed to treat subspecies differently. It needs to be done in a way where it doesn't feel like the subspecies take 
take up as much time to make as the unique species does. Perhaps make it more like the variant system in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Planet Zoo is not quite done yet, but one thing I hope they're done with are grey wolves. Unless they update the base game Timberwolf, that would be a very nice move. Thank you for stopping by today, I hope you learned something new and I hope you want to stick around for more. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if that is the case. Let me know what you think of this video and don't forget to leave it a like if you enjoyed it. And tell me if you want to see something similar done for other animals. I'm open for ideas. Thank you for stopping by.